In this video, you'll learn how to select and install the correct Clay & Bailey overfill prevention valve for your petroleum storage tank. There are several serious problems that result from overfilling an above-ground storage tank. Spilled fuel can create dangerous conditions and environmental problems, not to mention wasting money. The 1228 overfill prevention valve from Clay & Bailey avoids costly fuel losses and property and environmental damage while maximizing the capacity of your tank. The 1228 provides the highest flow rates available. As an example, our 4x6 has a flow rate of over 300 GPM and 40 PSI while providing positive fuel shutoff. This UL-ULC approved and patented valve can be installed in above ground and underground tanks and is retrofitable to your existing tank. No outside power is required for operation since the 1228 is entirely mechanical. Models are available for alternative fuels like E85, biodiesel and methanol. The Clay & Bailey overfill prevention valve accepts pressurized fuel delivery. Our 2x4, 3x4, and 4x6 are rated for up to 100 PSI, with no dangerous line shock and fuel delivery shutdown. Let's go over the steps for selecting the correct 1228 overfill prevention valve for your tank. There's a 1228 designed to meet your specific needs, whether your tank has a 4-inch or 6-inch opening. This drawing shows the typical installation of the overfill prevention valve. And here are the parts of the 1228 you need to know. The valve collar, the valve conduit nut, the fill pipe, the valve float, the drop tube clamp, and the drop tube. If you have detailed tank drawings, use them to determine the height of the tank and fuel shutoff height. Our ordering worksheet will guide you through the process, whether your tank is round or rectangular, vertical or horizontal or you can physically measure the depth of your tank to determine the length of the fill tube and drop tube. Fill tubes come in standard sizes of 10, 16, 20, and 24 inches in length. Other lengths are available if needed. Standard drop tube lengths are 4, 6, and 8 feet. If you have a round horizontal tank with a primary tank diameter of 96 inches, a rise pipe nipple that's 4 inches high, and your percent capacity shutoff is 95%, then use our table to determine the shutoff height, 87 inches. Then subtract the shutoff height from the total height of the primary tank and the height of the pipe nipple. Assuming you're installing a 2x4 or 4x6 valve, add another 3 inches to account for threads in the collar to come up with your fill tube length of 16 inches. Order the 1228 with a 16 inch fill tube. The additional 3 inch length isn't needed with the 3x4 valve. To find the drop tube length, subtract 9 inches from the shutoff height and then order the next nearest Clay & Bailey standard length drop tube. Now that you have the correct overfill prevention valve, fill tube, and drop tube, you're ready to install them. Please don't lift or carry the valve by the float. You might damage it. Loosen and remove the drop tube clamp from the valve body. The drop tube should be a minimum of 6 inches from the bottom of the tank, and you need to cut it at a 45 degree angle before installation. Slide the clamp over the bottom of the drop tube with the threaded side facing up. Thread the clamp into the bottom of the valve body and tighten. Using the distance from the top of the riser nipple to the shutoff point inside the tank plus 3 inches, measure from the valve center line to a point on the fill tube and mark with a permanent marker. Make sure the conduit nut is threaded onto the fill tube. This prevents accidentally dropping the valve into the tank. Hold the float against the drop tube and insert the entire unit, drop tube first, through the opening into the tank. Now you can thread the adjustable collar onto the nipple and tighten hand tight only. Please don't use a wrench on any part of the valve body. It might void your warranty. Align the arrow on the fill pipe toward the center line of the tank and away from walls or other obstructions. This ensures that the float will have free movement inside the tank. Raise or lower the fill pipe until the top of the adjustable collar is aligned with the mark you made on the pipe. Then tighten the set screws on the adjustable collar. 
Now, your above-ground storage tank is protected from overfilling, thanks to the Clay & Bailey 1228. Clay & Bailey has been giving shape to America's ideas since 1913. They feature U.S. manufactured products for above-ground and underground storage tanks and a foundry for construction castings. Clay & Bailey Manufacturing Company is headquartered in Kansas City, Missouri, but you can visit us online at claybailey.com or give us a call at 800-821-6583. Thanks to WeMac Tanks for their cooperation in the making of this video.